Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. The MACD histogram was developed by Thomas Asprey in 1986 and it measures the distance between the MACD and its signal line, which is the nine day exponential moving average of the MACD. Asprey developed the MACD histogram to anticipate signal line crossovers of the MACD. Now let's go ahead and load up the MACD histogram on this chart for PBR here at StockCharts.com. If you scroll down into the chart attributes area, the bottom box here, click there in indicators. We're going to go ahead and load up the MACD and the MACD histogram so that you can get an idea of how they work. Okay, first of all, they're both set at the standard settings of 12, 26, and 9. The MACD is comprised, this black line is the MACD, it is comprised of the 12 and 26 exponential moving averages. And the red signal line here is the 9 EMA. Okay. And the histogram comes with the standard MACD. But there are two reasons I like to use both of them together. Okay, first of all, one of the major signals that the histogram gives is bullish or bearish divergences. And here's just a couple of them. Okay, the stock is falling hard, but the histogram is going up towards zero. When it crosses up through the zero line, the MACD is crossing back up through its signal line. That's when the histogram becomes positive or negative. Okay, right here, the MACD crosses down through the signal line. The histogram goes below zero into negative territory here and here. So here's another one. This is a rising MACD histogram while the stock is falling. That is a bullish divergence. Okay, and it Histogram goes positive above zero when the MACD crosses back up through its signal line. Okay. The reason I like to load the histogram only is because it's the one that gives you early warning. It starts turning up before the MACD does. It's, you know, the MACD doesn't turn up until right here, yet the histogram is giving early warning. The headlights around the corner, it is foretelling that this downtrend is about over and when it crosses up through zero it becomes bullish again. Here's a bearish divergence with a lowering tops on the histogram while the stock at the highs remains flat. So these two peaks here are too low. They should be up in this area. That's signaling weakness. Okay. Now let's look at this one. The histogram topped out right here. That was just before the top on the stock. And it started steadily declining. You can't really see it clearly here. That's why you load histogram only also. Okay, so it starts breaking down towards the zero line and breaks below it right here before this double top, which is a bearish chart pattern, breaks below neckline support here, bounces back up to old support, makes it resistance and falls hard. Now let's take a look at the bullish and bearish divergences the histogram has given on this chart for PBR. This first one right here is a bullish divergence. As the stock price falls, the histogram is actually going up. That does not account for this huge gap up from about 14 to 16 on this day on huge volume for a couple of days. That must have been news related or good earnings. Okay, nevertheless, Here's another bullish divergence with the stock setting new lows, but the second low on the histogram is equal to the first low. That shows a little bit of strength. And when it crossed back up through the zero line, the stock took off and set new highs here. Now this is a bearish divergence with the histogram starting down at this point right here, which was just before the high. So the stock is going up but the histogram is going down. And when it breaks down through the zero line and becomes bearish, again, that is well before the breakdown of the double top 
chart pattern shaped like an M, which is bearish, and it breaks neckline support right there, goes back up to the old area of support, makes it resistance with a lot of tall upper wicks, and breaks down hard. But down here, the MACD histogram is going up while the stock is going down. So that is another bullish divergence. And when the histogram crossed up through the zero line, the stock became bullish and took off. But here's another bearish divergence. The stock is basically running flat at the highs. A slight uptrend right there. It looks like this close right here was the highest close in almost a month. But the high on the histogram at that point is showing weakness. So this is starting to look like a breakdown chart pattern, a triple top, or it might end up becoming a, a bullish ascending triangle. But if support here, here breaks, it will surely go down to test this low right here. Now let's take a look at a couple of signals that the histogram is given on this chart for Dry Ships Incorporated, ticker symbol DRYS. The first one right here is a bullish divergence because this low is lower than this low, but this low is equal to, if not just a little higher, than this low right here. Here's another one. This low is much lower than this level of support, yet this low on the histogram is much higher than this low. So we have an uptrending histogram and a downtrending stock. Now that means when it crosses up through the zero line, the stock basically becomes more bullish and it does a pretty nice run from $1.80 up to $2.10. On this run here, it was worth $1.70 to about $2.30 just on this buy signal alone. Okay, this huge volume that gapped and ran it. And then a couple more days of huge volume that sent it even higher. But here is your perfect reversal long-legged doji candlestick. And then a fully engulfing red over two whites almost. Okay, so it closed below the midpoint of this candle, which is bearish, gap down, and fell. Now here is a bearish divergence that most likely won't work, and I'll explain that in a minute. But right here, the highs are getting higher while the highs on the histogram are getting lower. Okay, this is actually a bearish divergence, but this close right here was the highest close in almost a month and on pretty good volume. And then yesterday, the biggest volume on the chart sent it not up a whole lot, but today, whatever the news was, it's continuing because it's only 12.07 a.m., Eastern time and this stock has gapped up and if it, if it closes right here this is going to be the highest close in a couple of months and so this volume right here kind of negates the bearish divergence with the stock rising and the histogram falling what it needs to do is cross up through zero here and as it breaks out above all resistance especially right here the peak of the histogram really needs to be above this point right here to be believable now let's take a look at some of the signals the histogram is given on this chart for micron technology incorporated ticker symbol mu okay the first one i see is right about here the lows look equal but at this point right here the histogram starts to uptick while the stock is falling a little bit and it's kind of a bullish chart pattern and when five or six days of volume comes in the MACD histogram crosses up through zero becomes bullish and on the biggest volume day it closes at the highest high in blue sky territory above all levels of resistance on the chart and that was pretty good volume biggest volume for a number of days for the past month or so so the stock runs and runs and runs Okay, so here's another bullish divergence where the lows on the histogram are getting much higher while the lows on the stock is just a little bit lower. So that, that high right there, so much higher than that one, was showing strength. And when it crossed up through the zero line, the stock broke out of a beautiful 
double bottom bullish chart pattern with neckline resistance right here. And when it broke out, the biggest green volume on the chart day shows up, except for this one here and sends it again into blue sky territory above all levels of resistance. Now there's one bearish divergence on this chart that I see. Right here is the high on the histogram and it is steadily down ticking on the highs here while the stock price is breaking out to new highs on a regular basis. And when the histogram drops below the zero line and becomes negative, the stock falls hard. This was the high on the stock price, yet this was the lowest high on the histogram. And that gave early warning that this run was just about over and a pullback was coming.